action. Okay, guys. Um, today I'm going to talk about two artifacts who hold uh, a story of death um, in two different cultures. One is Egyptian culture, um, and this scene is from, it's called The Last Judgment of Hunafer. This is the first one we're going to take a look at, and the second one uh, is the uh, crater of Attica, or the Deep Paloma crater. Back. So this scene is a part of a larger book that's called, uh, from, from a book called the, the Book of Death. The Book of Dead holds a lot of prayers and rituals um, that are referring to the death and the afterlife. And this is one of the rituals the, the man who dies is supposed to go through to get eternal life. So what we can see here is actually Hunafer himself. Hunafer was a scribe, which back in ancient Egypt hold a, a priestly status, uh, which was a high status. And we can see Hunafer here uh, in front of all of the gods and carried by Anubis into the test. We call it, we'll call it the test. So what Anubis actually uh, is doing is uh, putting his heart, Hunafer's heart, uh, beside a, a feather of the goddess Mat. Why the goddess Mat? Because the goddess Mat is the goddess of eternal life and uh, uh, eternal life and justice. So we can see she has actually the same feather as the feather who is being weighted. Um, we can see this is uh, the Amit, and if he doesn't pass the test and doesn't get eternal life, he's going to be devoured by this creature who is happy, ha sorry, uh, third hippopotamus, third lion, third uh, alligator, uh, which is very imaginative and wonderful. Uh, then Horus will take him, Horus the god of wisdom, will take us to Osiris, who is the chief god. Uh, and Osiris will decide in the end if Hunafer is going to pass the test and get the eternal life. Uh, there, in this scene, there are a lot of symbols that represent eternal life. We can see the lotus flower hill, which in uh, the Egypt, Egyptian culture represents eternal life. We can see here, uh, this, this is a representation of the god Horus. And he holds an ostrich feather, which also represents eternal life. Um, the interesting thing uh, here is actually the ramp. Uh, we can see a lot in a lot of, uh, of this kind of uh, pap papyrus uh, paintings, ramps like this, which indicate uh, of the salts that the mummies were buried in. To preserve the mummy, they used special salt, which represented here with this realm. We can move on to the second um, uh, artifact, which is this crater. We can see uh, the crater is made by registers. Um, it's from ancient Greece. Uh, this is the geometric period we're talking about. And we can see here uh, a man who died, and he, he's laying on his beard. Uh, around him are griefers, and the register below tell us the story or his life accomplishments, uh, which is, we can see the military man probably, because we can see a lot of horses uh, in the twisted perspective that look almost like a creature, but this is actually three horses, one uh, in front of the other, and, uh, and a lot of geometric symbolism from this period we can see on the on the on different registers of the of the crater. Um, the function of this crater was to uh, uh, this was put on a grave uh, or on a burial site, and it's actually bottomless. So uh, liquid like natural liquid like rain, and uh, people would come and pour wine or. Uh, anything of this uh, kind to keep the death hydrated. Um, so we can the, the difference, the big, huge difference between the two, uh, the two cultures we can see here is the perception of death. We know that the Greek had a huge, uh, um, uh, a lot, sorry, a lot of. Um, 
they 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 were very into afterlife and they and they do believe in afterlife but here we can see they're mainly focused on the griefers and the dead who is not actually in the afterlife not or not passing to the afterlife they just showing his accomplishments during his lifetime and showing him the grief um, and this is to me uh, the difference between the two uh, the two artifacts let's go to here we can see both artifacts I know it's a little rough but we'll handle this together um, so here we actually can see just both of the registers that represent the dead and show the dead. Uh, we can see the major difference of how this one focuses on, on the continuation of his journey during, to the afterlife, and this we can see the ending of his life and the grief and the sadness surrounding it. That's it. Thank you.